What's going on everyone? This is Joe with Dana Joe and Co and the creators of the Booking Lab. I'm back with another video in our blogging series and what we're going to be chatting about today is Search Console uh, which is a Google product. Now uh, if you've never heard of Google Search Console then you are in the right place. And I'm going to quickly show you uh, how to set it up but also explain a little bit uh, behind the importance of having a Google Search Console uh, account set up almost from day one. Uh, now, if, if this is your first time hearing about this, then now is the time to get this installed, uh, and I'm going to dive into that here in a second. So, if you haven't already, uh, I'd love for you guys to come on over, give us a subscribe, you know, drop a comment in the boxes below if you got any questions or comments or things like that. Uh, and then, of course, at the end of the day, we love to invite you over to the Booking Lab if you're a photographer. And basically, what we do is we teach uh, marketing uh, to all photographers. You know, talking about not only Search Console but ads, how to grow your business, things like that, um, so that you can get more clients in the door. All right. So now I'm going to share my screen, and we're just going to jump right on into it. So it's super simple. You can do a search for Google. Uh, search console and it'll be the first thing that pops up and this is the screen that you're going to see now you're going to need a Google account so if you already don't have a Google Gmail account uh, go ahead and get that created and basically what you can do is you're going to click start now and this is going to load up so I already have mine here in uh, the back end set up for my photography business so um, what you would see is if you did not have any in an account is you would have this blank screen I I was messing around with this earlier um, so what you would do is there may be a button here uh, because I've already submitted a website it's kind of showing this but if you don't see that what you do is come over here where it says search property and you click add property and then you could type in uh, your domain whatever that is so <clears throat> so Buchanan dash Come, right so you'll leave the HTTPS and www dot and all that good stuff off the front it's just your main core domain and you can click continue all right so here's what it's going to do it's going to ask you to verify that you actually own that website right um, so there's a couple ways that you can do this this is the way that I always do is doing the DNS thing um, you can click on GoDaddy right and it shows you exactly how to start verification so they make this super easy for you um, so if you have name.com a couple other things but really honestly I use GoDaddy for just about all my domains so if you click GoDaddy you're gonna click start verification and it's gonna ask you to log in and it's gonna do it for you which is awesome now if you don't have GoDaddy and you have another DNS provider essentially what you have to do uh, is copy this little piece of uh, URL snippet and you're gonna take this and you're going to create a new DNS record now I'm not going to get into how to do that in here you can google it or YouTube it but essentially what you're trying to do is create a TXT record a text record uh, inside of your DNS now um, I'll show you what that looks like in GoDaddy right so if you have a GoDaddy URL is you come in here you log in you find your domain you click on it And then this should look very similar to other businesses as well um, as far as how to do this. So what we want to do is come in here and let me clear off my screen. Uh, you're going to click manage DNS <clears throat> and you're going to come down here. And what you would do here is you would click add, right? So add TXT like it was telling us. You're going to put the at symbol and then you're going to put that this code so copy you can put that in there and leave it at one hour then I would hit save right so you can see I already have one here set up to verify everything and then what's going to happen is once you get that in there you're going to wait a little bit and you can click verify sometimes it'll say hey you know we can't verify it right now so what you would do is just hit verify later come back in a few hours uh, once the internet uh, recognizes this change, then you can come back in here and verify this, okay? And you'll be good to go. And then what you should see is this. So initially, you won't have any 
data. So basically what the Google Search Console is doing is it is keeping track of everyone who visits your website. Now, you have Google Analytics and you have Google Search Console. The difference between the, do, the two is on Google Analytics, right? Is it showing you uh, where people are coming from, how many page visitors you got, what pages they went to, how much time they spent on your website? Google Search Console is basically telling you what people are searching for and you're showing up for those searches, right? So let's say I typed in uh, Phoenix Wedding Photographer. Google Search Console is telling me where I rank and how many times I showed up for that search and how many times somebody clicked on it, right? The reason this becomes important is if you're a blogger, right, and you're actively blogging, um, this allows you to see which blog posts are no kidding working for you, which ones are getting you the most clicks, which keywords are people searching for. So that way you, you have a good idea of, hey, is my blogging working? And if so, which blogs do people like the most and am I getting the most traffic from, right? So on the left-hand side, you're going to see your, your property over here, right? So that's just basically your website. And uh, so this is going to give you a basic overview right but really what I care about is my performance oops let me go back to my main site what I care about is performance right so this is gonna show me hey for the last three months this is how many clicks I got how many impressions I got click-through rate and then my position right so a lot of people talk about hey what's my position on Google how do I know if I'm on page one or not right the way that you would do that is come in here and looking at your position now when you see average position, this is the average position of all the pages on your website. If you wanted to know what the position was of your home page, right? Let's say your home page is trying to rank for the keyword your city dot 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 wedding photographer, right? So San Diego City wedding photographer or Phoenix, Arizona wedding photographer. What you would do is you would click this, you would click page. And you type in your home page and hit apply and you'll see what your average position is over the past three months so I am <laughs> I'm on page like five right between four and five um, and you'll see that when I unclick these you can kind of see the trend right the trend, if I hover over these, it'll kind of tell me what my position is, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. But what's also neat down here is I can see when people search for these particular keywords, Google is showing my home page, right? So it shows me, so volume is how many searches per month, uh, what the competition is, and then my average position for that keyword. <clears throat> so if you look, best places to take engagement photos in Arizona, right and position one <clears throat> and then if I was to come up here and I click total clicks it would now show me how many clicks I get from that so over the past three months I've gotten 18 clicks for this keyword phrase right now why is this important because if you come in here and you realize that your website showing up for keywords that you don't want to be shown for let's say you used to do boudoir photography and you no longer do that but your home page is consistently showing up for boudoir photography, um, you're going to want to figure out why that's happening, right? So you, most likely there's probably a keyword on your site or there may be a blog post that you've forgotten about uh, and you're going to want to delete that and you're going to want to get remove that from there. But essentially, the whole purpose of setting up Google Search Console is to know where you rank on Google and which keywords people are searching for and are clicking on for you. And you want to figure out, is that a good thing that, you know, whatever people are clicking on, is that a good thing? Or is that something that I don't want them to be searching for, right? Um, and then finally, my last thought is, it also helps you to see, is my blogging efforts worth it? And I'll, I'll show you when we started blogging. And I'll let me tell, you tell me if you can notice when that happened, that, that shift happened. Because we weren't consistently blogging, we we kind of just left it alone, and then this past, <clears throat> excuse me. So I won't look at position. What I care about is impressions and clicks. 
right? So you'll see we kind of hung out here as far as impressions and clicks went. So impressions is how many people saw your name or your website uh, in a Google search. We started blogging right around here and you'll see since then the number of impressions, like I don't care about click-through rate, I care about clicks and impressions. You'll see since we started blogging here, it's done nothing but go up, right? And that is only set six to seven months worth of blogging. You can see how significant of a shift. You can see how, how low it was here, and then you can see sort of blogging here and how it's continually gone up, right? Um, there was a little dip here. That's because Google had a, a change in their algorithm. But you can see it immediately recovered and kept going up. So um, this is the, you know, a lot of people say, hey, is blogging worth it? Should I be doing this? This is proof that it does, right? Because since we've done that, we're getting all these clicks, but we've also gotten more inquiries just from people searching for us on Google. And what's nice about that is typically when people find you on Google, right, and they inquire uh, through your website, they're ready, almost ready to like book you on the spot because they've done their research, they've looked, uh, they've gotten to know you through your website. And uh, we found that the inquiries are typically a lot easier to book versus me running ads um, or trying to cold outreach people, right? So blogging is effective. Don't ever let anyone tell you that blogging is not worth it uh, because we are literally seeing the fruits of our labor just from six months worth of blogging. So uh, if you don't have a search console set up today, go ahead and get that set up uh, for these specific reasons, right? Um, and then if you have any questions, comments, or you're hung up or stuck on something, uh, come out, re reach out to me via Facebook, come on over into our group, uh, or just drop a comment below in this video and I'm happy to answer that for you. So that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you around.